Hi, welcome to automation testing dot in. In this video, we are going to see test ng exception test. Now we'll see what is exception test. Like while writing automation tests, there can be certain scenarios where we need to verify that an exception is being thrown by the program during the execution. Test ng provides a feature to test such scenarios by allowing the user to specify the type of exceptions that are that are expected to be thrown by a test method during execution. It supports uh, multiple values being provi provided for execution. If the exception thrown by the test is not part of the user enter list, the test method will be marked as failed. Means you have written a program and you are expecting some exception will be thrown by the program. Means you, you know uh, initially that it will definitely throw this type of exception. But you want to handle that exception and it should not fail the program. So how you uh, handle this kind of scenarios? like uh, we'll take one sample example and we'll see practically that i have here i'll create a class exception test and i'll take one sample and simple example that at the rate test public wide exception testing i'll say I'll simply say like int uh, i equal to 1 by 0 ok int i equal to 1 by 0 and uh, as we know that it is not possible that you cannot divide anything by 0 it, def it will definitely throw an exception called arithmetic exception but I want to handle this scenario stand dot out dot pindle I want to print uh, what do you say value of i equal to like plus i this is my simple scenario where i want to print the value of i but here if you divide anything by zero it will definitely throw an exception that you cannot divide by zero and definitely it will fail now we'll see that what will happen run as test ng test obviously it will fail see it is it's it's failed and it is throw it's saying that exception uh, dot uh, uh, slash by zero means if you say here see arithmetic exception by zero you see arithmetic exception by zero so you cannot execute this test as it will fail but you know that it will definitely throw this exception and you want to handle this exception and you want to pass this test how you will handle this scenario you have some of the uh, attributes for your test annotation as we have seen in the test ng test annotation and uh, we will see that uh, we have one attribute called expected ex exceptions is equal to and you have to write in uh, curly braces like uh, what is that exception arithmetic exception dot class means it will definitely throw arithmetic exception as I know and I want to pass this test then you will, you will handle this kind of scenarios using attribute called expected exceptions equal to you have to mention which exception it will throw I think you can put comma and it will, uh, you can accept uh, expect some other also so now if I execute the same thing right click uh, run as test in the test see it got passed it will not print anything though it will pass so this way if you know the test case or test method will throw some exceptions and if you want to uh, handle those exceptions and if you want to execute the test and pass uh, make it pass then you have to handle the scenario like this the it depends on the arithmetic exception dot class here that it will throw arithmetic exception if it is something else you have to mention that exception here then it will handle that exception and it will pass that's all in this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like us at our facebook page